Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. I am super excited to continue Dave's defect with a discussion of gauge bands. This defect teaches us two important lessons. First is that for many profile related defects, you should wind as loose as possible. Second, that winding loose may not be enough in which case you need to diagnose and reduce the root cause mechanics of streaky web forming. I know your time is precious, so let's get started. Gauge bands and corrugations and ridges and valleys are all in a similar class. They are caused, in part, by a streaky web profile variation coming from either web manufacturing or from web converting operations, most particularly coding. Streaky profiles are quite common because most web processes vary in the CD much more than they vary with time. Streaky patterns can be stable for hours, days, or even forever, because some processes have edge effects that are unavoidable. By streaky profile, we mean a variation of caliper, density, gauge, and or thickness across the width of the web. However, a streaky profile by itself will not cause a gauge band. You also need a wound roll to do that. So. The first ingredient is streaky webs. The second ingredient is winding. However, in problem solving, we will start with the winder because it is the simplest. Step one is super simple. Wind as loose as possible painfully loose, and then some. Turn all the knobs as far down as they will go, and then some. Do not play with curves or taper. They will just waste time and limit progress. Wind loose, and then move upstream. If winding loose, as loose as possible, as loose as the system allows, does not get you far enough. Winding super loose may not be enough. Then you must go to step two to make any further remedy. Step two is simple in concept. You must reduce the streaky web profile variation at its source. It matters not if QA or the test lab or the scanner cannot see or measure the profile variations that are responsible. It matters not whether you or your supplier can do any better with profile. This threshold of pain is quite small, something on the order of 1 to 10 percent variation. At 1 percent you have few problems and at 10 percent you have few products. The bottom line is this. The winder makes its own conclusion about web profile quality. If you have corrugations, gauge band, valleys, or similar issue, the web quality is simply not good enough to wind. There are many, many ways to measure or infer profile variation. Here I list them in very approximate order of least to most sensitive. Of course, your application may differ, so use statistics to evaluate the sensitivity of each measurement in your own application. I teach how to do this in my award-winning and trademark Web 101 course. As an example, for applications where the gauge bands are narrow and the product is thin and has a high 
roll modulus, roll rubbing may give the most sensitive results. A final note, tin cans commonly found on film are not corrugations and they are not gauge bands. See my Web 101 class or my Web 201 clips for more information on the tin can defect as well as the many, many ways to measure or infer profile variations. Finding more information about the general class of profile-related defects, such as ridges and valleys and corrugations, will be exceedingly challenging, even with resources such as the Roysum Library database. Google will be far more hopeless in this regard. Instead, I will offer you two must-have general background resources. The first is my award-winning and trademark Web 101 class that has been taken by 5,000 students just like you. Here, especially in my Winding Defect module, you will find many, many ways to read and measure caliper profile variation. Another must-have resource is the Ultimate Role in Web Defect Troubleshooting Guide by Tappy Press. Hundreds of defects are covered by dozens of industry experts with over 500 years of cumulative experience. Finally, as many of my viewers will know, many cases of baggy webs have profile variations of one of the necessary ingredients. Thus, the troubleshooting tips I offer for baggy webs may help with troubleshooting other profile-related defects. Thank you so very much for joining me in this Defect Solving and Defect Preventing series. Stay tuned for the next clip where we will discuss roll interweaving on winders. If you have any defects you are interested in, please email me. If you found anything interesting or useful here, please like and share and subscribe. Also, please consider supporting the work of this channel using the Patreon link below. See you next time!